that we are going to go to Mars. And so I'm going to, yeah, I think that that's a very interesting possibility. I, I haven't done the calculation though, Lou. Here we go. Well, it turns out that in 2084, there will be an Earth transit as seen from Mars. So <laughs> that's how... That's how long we have. Well, do you have a computer in your head? I mean, it's, 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 you can see the calculations being and, done and right away. Mars. Well, I mean, the sure the <laughs> we are. Yeah, yeah we not be accurate. Yeah, those calc we are at altitude. Check those numbers. Well, again, this is really important because there actually is kind of an interesting relationship between the the journeys to see the transit and Mars. Because again, back in the 1700s, 1800s, the astronauts of the day were the explorers who were traveling to places unknown. They didn't have maps. They didn't have Google. They couldn't find their way around the world. And they were going to unknown, scary places that took the same amount of dis time that it, took, that it would take us to get to Mars. And so this is just, that's just an example of the early explorers, the early astronauts, and we're the next step to that. that that's right, Alex. And I, I misspoke a little bit. I said, that's how long we have to, to, to get to Mars. We've already been to Mars with robots taking fabulous data, fabulous images. And so we're, in fact, we're sitting on the surface of Mars with robotic observers right now. And I want to say that when you drive up to the summit of Mauna Kea, it is, if you never make it to the moon or Mars, this summit is very much like, you see the pictures in the, of those environments. It's a really extraordinary cinder cones, red, lack of vegetation. It's really like being on Mars.